My house is going under a transformation and my little house with the giraffe will be part of the um, part of the mix. But what I've done is created a a um, stalagmite of filing cabinets and bookshelves right in the goddamn middle of my studio. Now, what sense is that? This thing down there holding up that filing cabinet is from Draper Labs. The magic dumpster, David Tennyson and I used to call it because it had magical things in it, including binders, <clears throat> loose uh, three ring binders that had all of the launch codes for the Triton missiles. Boy, I wish I had a time machine. Could have made a million bucks. This bookshelf, I, when you come into my studio, I needed to have some sort of order. So eventually, there'll be black books over here and white books over there. Now that's hardly Dewey Decimal, but it's the judge a book by its cover system of filing. So that's what that will look like. And it's kind of fun because you, you focus on the different kinds of lettering. So you have the you know, David Hockney book, you have the erotic art book, L'Amour Bleu. You have over here in the black ones, you've got Art Deco, Fashion, Physique, the erotic arts. Um, this one doesn't belong here, erotic art, because it's pink. Is that the same as... No, that isn't the same. Anyway, so this is what the, and then these will all be, see, this is confusion. This is order. Confusion, try that again. Confusion, order. Confusion, order. See, order. And in the center, in each of the things, I'll have Roy G. Biv happening. You know, red, yellow, orange. No, red, orange, yellow, green. Biv. I'm, I don't know how many V colors I have. Violet. Maybe I'll run out of room. Over here, this is chaos. And that's fine because you don't see. There's there's the green one. That's going to be... For, well, see, the problem is these are sort of short shelves. So a lot of my, a lot of my books are picture books. I'm not much of a reader, but I am a looker. Anyway, so this is the this is the central stalagmite in my caves. Um, yeah. What do they call the cave system in California, or was it Utah or something? I don't even know. But anyway, this is the central stalagmite. There's other stalagmites over there, but this is the central one. On the back of the stalagmite, you see. Um, a stalagmite made of filing cabinetry. And there's an order in these things too. You see a ink, drafting kits, something else, drafting kits. These are filing cabinets, so solid stuff. And in the back, further, on the other side, we have more books. These, for the moment, are graphic design and um, Japanese art and posters. But they may, I may have to borrow some of these to go in my color-coded stalagmite. See, this would go in the yellow. These would go in the yellow section. I know, I know, this is, would go in the green section. See? I'm organizing this as I speak. That one will have to stay there because that's just too confusing. I don't like confusion. Oh, there's a pink that almost counts as... See, that's not going to fit. It's too tall. God damn it. 
anyway, so <clears throat> this is the central stalagmite. We've now gone full circle. These have a lot of boating and cars and train books, and I don't know what's going to go down there. I have to keep the books from sticking out too much because the pathway is, even though I'm losing weight, a, a lot of weight lately, I'm still, I have to go sideways rather than front ways. Okay, over here we have this, uh, we'll call it a clusterfuck. That's right there. And that's going to be organized. This eventually, I hope, will go away. But right now it's holding up the Sistine Chapel ceiling. So all above, all above the stalagmite and this br bridge, this natural bridge, is going to be crap that I don't need, but I can't throw out. I know, I know, I know. Over here, I've taken down my cardboard uh, window darkening devices, and I've come up with, uh, and it brings a lot of light in, so I'm going to have to put a curtain up because I can't see my computer screen when I'm trying to with all this light. Now I discovered that over through those windows, that's called outside. I hadn't seen it in a long time. So this is the Sargasso Sea. So let me stand up on top of... So here's my Sargasso Sea, where all of the broken boats are end up being stored. And there's a rat leaving that boat. And there's the outfit I wear maybe once every five years. I don't wear the uh, string bikini, but I do wear the uh, this, this thing. And it has everything you need. It has the little binoculars. It has this little coin purse or condom case, if you will. It has my little scouring pad, which you never know when you need. It has my... So people know I'm coming. Uh, what does this do? I don't know. It takes my, the temperature. And over here it has aiguillettes made of phone jacks. Um, these are Japanese uh, sink stoppers. And then an arrangement of and, and leather jackets like this in the gay leather scene, usually around an epaulette, you see maybe one, maybe two <clears throat> jewelry that people wear in their nether regions. So I have such jewelry for a elephant as well as a humanoid. And I don't know what this does, but it goes to medium, low, and high. So, invite me to your next leather party. You'll know when I'm coming. Bump, bump, bump. Okay, so now I come down. Harpo Marks at a leather party. See if I can get down from my perch here. Over here, this end, I have my Fonzar outfit, and he has all sorts of fun stuff, uh, including this weapon in his belt. It's a heated, heatable knife. I think it's an iron for doing pleating, pleats, um, an aluminum saw. And he has his sporin here, and he has his little hook. And I'll attach this at some point. This is from an erector set, but this will come down and grab what he needs to grab. Oh, over here he has his little armbands, his... Uh, a lot of his outfit is letter related. So you have the this thing patch that would go on someone's jacket and they would belong to the 
T-L-O-O-C-D-H and S-D-Q-A-A. So I imagine it's, that last one is probably America. The Loyal Order of Crocodiles, Deer, no, that's not right. The Loyal Order of Crocodile, what starts with an H, Hippopotamus, Crocodiles, Deer, Hippopotami, and D-S-O-A-A. -A. Well, anyway, I don't know what it is. Now I have to put him back. Down below his sporn, you see that he has the big inch. This is a really cool tape dispenser. I'll do a special thing on that. Over here, we have his, his little punch. And this is a conductor's punch, and it punches little parts out. Um, he has real aguillettes. And over here he has this binocular case full of pencils. And there's a T-square. And he has a fishing pole here with a little metal. And there's his hat made of sign-making equipment. So this is... This is what it's like living in my house, if you can imagine such a thing. I know you'll have nightmares. This is my drawing table, and I haven't drawn anything on it in a long time because I can't get to it. But I will now because I have... This is all perfect. Well, it will be. This is the... Clearly, this is the before picture. Okay? You got that? Thanks for watching. Say goodbye to the fountsar. Bye. Goodbye.